and welcome to our beautiful Midtown Studios here in Sacramento, California, the NorCal offices. I'm Shiny Dome number one, Mark Torgerson. This is Shiny Dome number two, Ronald Benjamin. And I don't know who is next to us. Ron, help me out. This is Tracy Ham from UC Davis Women's Soccer Program, and we're very fortunate to have her on the program today. She is our third guest of all time that actually agreed in three years to join the show. <laughs> What do you think about that, Mark? I know, yeah, Greg Rubendahl, he, he got so mad on the show. He's Greg Rubendahl, then Zeka, now Tracy Ham. We're definitely upgrading. There's no question about that. I prefer the first two over this one. That's no problem. <laughs> All right, so uh, Tracy, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. All right, so tell us a little bit about um, your journey and how you arrived at UC Davis. Um, well, I... Uh, Played professionally for two years after playing at Cal, and in between seasons, I was the assistant coach at, at Cal, at my alma mater. Um, and then I went to grad school, and I came back, and I was the head coach at Santa Rosa JC for three seasons. Um, we did really well. I loved my experience there. And then um, the AD at San Francisco State hired me there. Um, were you recruited or did you search it out? Um, I was recruited by the okay. AD. Um, and then I had four awesome seasons there and uh, got the phone call from the AD at UC Davis and had a fantastic time in my interview there. Loved the school, loved the program, um, and got offered the job. So I'm two months into um, my season. So yeah. And how's the team doing right now? What's your record? How are things going? How does the rest of the season look? Easy, Ron. Easy there. Huh? It's a little sore subject right now. It's all right. <laughs> oh we got to face our challenges, after, Torx, after the last weekend. Okay. Um, I'm loving it so far. Uh, every day I go to work is like the best day. Uh, I love the team. I think there's really good energy, really good momentum. Um, you know, we've had a couple injuries, unfortunately, but everyone's staying super positive. Uh, and I just, the, the school started last week, so... Um, you know, we're just trying to kind of weather that storm a little bit um, so that we can get acclimated to the academics. Um, but it's been really fun so far, and I've loved, like, every day with the team and at that school, yeah. Awesome. Well, we're very happy to have you in Region 6 for sure. Um, let's uh, move to kind of recruiting. So where are you doing most of your recruiting right now uh, and looking for players? Uh, kind of all over. I think right now with, you know, the kind of infancy of the program, we're looking um, to fill a lot of different roles and responsibilities. So um, mainly in California, I think that, you know, obviously I'd love to stay local and get as much of the Northern California talent as we can. Um, you know, our 2021 class so far is a pretty big range in terms of, you know, Southern California and Northern California. Uh, we have an Oregon commit also, but um I think for the most part, we're just trying to stay in California, and if we get some special players out of state or international, then we're certainly open to that, but um, I think that there's a lot of talent in Sacramento, um, in Northern California, that I'd like to, you know, stay in contact with and hopefully get to come to such a great school. We, Mark and I always talk about on the show that, um, you know, Davis or Sac State, if you could just recruit in Sacramento. There's so many players mm -hmm. here that you could probably get sounds, a lot of. Your... Sounds like Ron's uh, proposition for more placer players. Is what I want to hear right now. Yes. Tracy, as a, as myself, as a huge advocate of women's soccer, what is the uh, <laughs> cut? Just kidding. What's going on with the women's pro league? Is that going to exist in a year? Yeah, of course. We have like. How many teams are there? Eight. I think there's nine actually. Okay. Getting out. And uh, how of those nine teams, how many are American coaches? Not a lot. Probably like three? Nope. Okay. How want, many? Want to answer that for you? Sure. Four? That'd be two. Two? Mm. Two. Why can't American coaches make it? We have the best women's team in the world, but our coaches are not good enough to coach at the, what, what's the league No, called? I think that's that because called. the league. WPSL? PS no, WL? it's called the NWSL. NWSL. Thank you. It doesn't change every year. But he's a big supporter he's a huge of women's supporter soccer. Of women's oh, soccer yeah. Did yeah, you so. watch the Houston Dash versus the team with the... 40 people at the stadium? Because I did. <laughs> okay. Was the attendance, the attendance has been enormous after the World Cup. It's been, like, most of the games have been selling out. Well, maybe the people were watching in the uh, from behind the seats or something. <laughs> there wasn't anybody in the seats. But... Outside the stadium. Yeah, they're tailgating. Yeah, it's, it's, like tailgating. it's like a college football game. <laughs> <laughs> no one goes into the game. Yeah. We're going to sit out here have a good time. We'll see you guys after the game's over. Um, I don't think that it's about the level. I think that... The contracts and the best coaches probably coach college soccer because of the job security. 
Okay. Um, and so That's I think that the pro league, until it's a little bit, um, not necessarily sustainable, but until they're paying coaches and um, it's a little bit more. So you're, so you're implying that they offered college coaches a job and they turned down because yes. they got the too good of a job. Absolutely. And they give it to an English guy. Seven out of the nine. By See, the way, there's nine teams, not eight. He does this to me every show. You get stonewalled. I research. I That's know fine. the WPSL like the back of my head. <laughs> WPSL ECNL. DA. Whatever. <laughs> um, so tell us your experience um, or experiences at the NPL showcase, which which is one of our top recruiting events, and and uh, you know what do you like? Maybe if there's some things you think we can fix. I think I got rained out. Hey, are you the guest today? Well, yes, I'm let's, let's, I'm not guy, even, guy yeah, but you're not Tracy Ham, so. <laughs> All right, NPL Showcase, what do you think? You want to talk to me? You want to talk to her? Um, I really like the NPL Showcase. I think it's something that, obviously, you guys take care of the college coaches really well. It's fun to recruit at. It's fun to be at. Um, I think that there's a lot of talent in the NPL as well. Um, the majority of my players at SF State were from NPL Showcases. Um you know, but I think that there's it's it's a it's a place and it's a league for um, for teams and players that um, you know might not have the finances or the kind of the familial. Um, what was that word? Familial. Familial. Yeah, like family. Um, like family that may have other responsibilities or other things happening where they can't travel all over the entire world. She's got a large vocabulary. Yes, I do. <laughs> Okay. All right, so um, go ahead. Anyway, I think that there's a lot of talent in the NPL, basically, is what I'm trying to say, and I think it's a great league, and there's a, um, you know, it's a great place to recruit, and uh, I enjoy the showcases quite a bit. So, yeah. Okay. All right, I got a question for you. So, talking to all of our viewers out there, because our YouTube membership is massive, it's up to six. especially with the um, with some of the youth players. What are, let's give me three or four things that are a must for a player to play for Tracy Ham and UC Davis. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, (laughs) I think the most important thing, honestly, you know, with, in the climate of just showcases, there's so many weekends and tournaments. We used to, like, you know, 15 years ago, you're trying to play Sunday evening or Sunday afternoon that meant that you were competing in the finals or the semis. Now it's just like showcase weekends, and so I think that we've lost a little bit of the element of competing. Ooh, I like that. Um, Ooh, that's like right that. up towards his alley. I like that. And yeah. so for yeah. me, watching, I think that you're looking at players that are everyone's technical, everyone understands the game. Most, you know, most teams are well coached. They're smart players. They're smart girls. But um, I think the most important thing for me is being able to compete and wanting to win. And I think that it's clear how you go into tackles and kind of if you're willing to sacrifice your body to score goals or defend. Um, so for me, that level of competition and heart, like, are you keeping score and training when you're doing possession exercises? Do you want to, like, try to win everything that you do? That's really valuable to me. Um, are you supposed to try to win? Yeah, it's competition. They, they, so. don't do that. they don't do that in the academy. They just want to pass side to side. Not do anyway, great questions, Ron. Um, let's talk about your movie coming up. You have a movie about your coasting license. Why don't you give us a quick recap of that? As one of the ones in the room that watched it, I thought it was fascinating, fantastic. Peter Crouch and Mito, ex Spurs player, were doing the coaching license with you. That's right. Um, <laughs> uh, so the movie is, yes, about me getting my coaching license. But did, you, did you pass? I did. I passed in May. So I have my UFA now. So I'm the second American female. The other, is that right? The other American female coaches the Sky Blue in the NWSL. Is that the team that's broke? And she's American. So one of the, who is that? One of the two? Denise Reddy. Okay. Is that right? There's only two, well, two of you. female UFA license holder in the United States? Yes. I'm impressed. It's up and back. That's pretty good. Uh, um, yes, thanks. So anyway, uh, the movie, yeah, it's called Coach. and um, It's called Coach, that's the name of it? Yeah. Wasn't no, it a TV show? I was going to say it was a TV show. <laughs> it was a probably four year old. No, but I Minnesota, it, yes. Minnesota He's a football yeah, yeah. coach. Yeah. yeah. I, I, watch, I actually really like that show. That's so, good, sir. anyway. Okay. Um, we interrupt people a lot on that show. <laughs> <That's> just, <laughs> <so you know. laughs> just talk, right, about, so talk about, the about the movie, dude. So, the movie is uh, basically yeah, about my kind of like pursuit to get the UFA, and it kind of highlights some of the nuances that some female coaches have to face going through that process. Um, not just, you know, abroad, but I think in the United States as well. Um, and just kind of your ability to 
you know, when you have a goal and you have a mindset that you want to accomplish something, you don't really let anything stand in your way. And um, So did you feel they were talking to you as a, a equal coach or was it uh, talking down to you because you were a female? Um, I felt for the most part That's there was no... Marketing journalism right there. Right? Okay. No, I felt like actually there wasn't a lot of ego in the room. I felt like they were really respectful. Um, maybe one or two, you know, Which coaches. One? Nikki Butt? <laughs> Peter Crouch? No, Peter Peter Crouch Mito? was very respectful. Um, Mito actually was also, he just came off as... I gotta be honest, the movie didn't make him look great though. Well... They kept cutting when he stammered every time he tried to do a thing. Is that intentional? It's his fault, so oh. I don't know, but... Um, Sorry, you got respect in the course. Yes. Um, I felt like they, most of the coaches and all the instructors, you know, felt like that was a big step for an American female to come, you know, especially with the kind of the talent in the room. Because I, I got my UEFA B as a pro player, so it was like a pro player course. So that's why there was all, you know, Peter Crouch and how many Steve other females, Sinwell how many and other, Ryan Shawcross. And how many other females were in the course? One. Just the two of you? Two. Did she pass? I don't know. Don't know, don't care. No, I don't know. Tracy got hers, no. right, Torgs? Uh, I'm you got, you got to work sure up yourself on those courses, I've got to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, absolutely, it's all about you. <laughs> I failed, congratulations, Ronnie, got your license. Well, no, because I don't see them, I don't know, I don't know. You don't no, have like, a list of who passed. Did Crouchy pass? I'm not sure, I don't know who passed. Please don't know that. Yeah. Premier League players are going to pass. Yeah, I think I'm going to fail those guys. He just walked in the door and got it. Yeah, yeah. Handed it to him right when he walked in. All right, when's the uh, when's the movie coming out? When can uh, all how did, how did the viewers see it? How do the viewers see it? Right now it's in the festival circuit, so it was just in the Women in Sports Film Festival this weekend in San Francisco. In a couple of weeks it's in San Jose Film Festival. Um, it's actually been shown like internationally. It's in Athens, Greece next month also, and I'll be showing it the Soccer X Expo in Miami at the end of November. How many uh, film festivals have you been to, Ron? Um, I think... No. no, it's in the Napa you know Valley Film Festival in Let's November. Go. I forget that one. Right before the Impale Showcase. Can we get to be your guests of honor, we the two could. shiny domes, then we'll be in. We'll, we'll be on the location. Red, red carpet. Absolutely. You know? I kind of want to go to the one in Athens, Greece. That sounds a little more. <laughs> sounds a little more fun. We'll take Napa if that's. If two shiny place. domes on the road to Tracy Ham Film Festival. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll have the blazer on. It'll All be right. in London in January, but after that, then it's too cold in um, they're going to embed the uh, the the movie into the film's website. So the website is coachthemovie.com, and after I think it probably next spring they'll put it embed it in the website so anybody can. So watch we it. can't we can't give our NorCal viewers the little c- clip you gave us and kind of cheat a little bit and get it we out there a little bit. We could give you the trailer. Oh, that would be good. Can we get the trailer? Yeah, I can send okay. that to you guys. That would be great. We'll take the trailer. Check our Instagram or Twitter. And uh, what else do we have? Do we have anything That's else? it. That's it. The legend, T. Oh, Ham. Thanks, guys. Starting off from two shiny domes, you got to get the training. We'll see you soon. It's good.